Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm super excited because I get to review my brother's 2020 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Coming along the side here, you can see it has that great muscle car stance, muscle car styling. Just looks really good. See here we have red brake calipers, 20 inch rims, uh, 275s, all four corners. See there, we got the Hellcat badge. That's how you know you mean business. Got the tent on there looking really nice. And then since it rains over here in Seattle all the time, he has some mud flaps to keep the paint from getting super dirty and getting sling on the paint. Since the wheels, as you can see, do stick out from the fender, which gives it a nice aggressive stance. This is called Granite Pearl Coat, if I'm not mistaken. And Hellcats have black painted exhaust tips. You can see there. We'll get a little exhaust clip in a minute. But yeah, this thing just looks super nice. SRT Hellcat in the back. Definitely loving this thing. All right, guys, just pop the hood here. You can see we have the supercharged 6.2 liter V8. Definitely looking really cool. It even says SRT Hellcat on the top there. Has this cool intake system right here. And those dual snorkels are functional. It funnels the air around into there so then it can go straight into the intake. And like I mentioned before, 717 horsepower and 656 pound feet of torque. And you can see this one has red seat belts. So that definitely gives it a nice look. And these seats are like big couches. They're really comfortable. You can definitely take a long road trip in a Hellcat, no problem. There's the light controls. It does have the sport pedals. I do like the way that looks. You even get SRT on the floor mats. So that's also a cool little touch. Let's go ahead and hop inside here. All right, guys, we got the red start button. So let's go ahead and start it up. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I already know this is gonna be fun. Okay, so looking at the gauges, um, it's your normal Challenger gauges, but you do have 200 miles per hour on the dash. You can see we do have the red key today, so we are gonna use um, all 717 horsepower. If you guys don't know by now, the black key has 500 horsepower and the red key unlocks the 717 horsepower. So red key all the time for me. It also says SRT in the speedometer and you can go through a whole bunch of different um, info here. So you can see here we have oil life, oil pressure, oil temperature, trans temp, you got all kinds of stuff you can check in here. And he's actually getting really good fuel economy for how much power this car has. 17.7, that is definitely not bad at all. And uh, I'll put the ratings on the screen, the MPG ratings, but that is definitely not bad at all. But let's go ahead and put it back up into a speedometer here. You have this huge 8.4 inch Uconnect display. You have maps, your media. You can see this one has heated seats, vented seats, and a steering wheel. See the dash also has that nice soft uh, leather type material on it. Gives it just a really nice premium look. And I love the SRT Hellcat on the seats as well. And this one does have a sunroof. So you can open that up for the sunny days. And you get the garage door opener. And uh, Challengers still have just standard bolts for the interior lights. But I'm sure that's probably pretty easy to swap out. And look at this steering wheel. Like this steering wheel is super beefy. It's really thick. Feels really good to hold. You got these nice extended paddle shifters on the SRT wheel. This one does have adaptive cruise as well. So he really got this highly optioned. And then this controls the screen up there and then your cruise control over there. Looking down over here, you can see you have uh, your redundant climate controls. It has dual zone, it's automatic. And then you have a launch control right here, which I might have to test out, but I don't know if I, I don't know about that. But we'll see if we can test that out. Uh, Traction control, all that stuff, and then SRT. Now this is the fun stuff. So you click that and it pops up all this kind of stuff that you can test here. So you can do, um, I think you can actually do a dyno too. Um, I think that's on here somewhere, race options. Look at all this stuff, launch control. You can have a shift light pop up. Like this is just really cool stuff. Race cooldown, look at all that. The Mustang doesn't have nearly as much information as this does. So this is definitely really impressive. Let's go to uh, performance pages real quick. The performance pages usually takes a little while to load, but um, once they load, you got all kinds of stuff on here. Oh yeah, there's the dyno I was telling you about. Gauges, G-Force. So I definitely wanna leave it on something like this when I'm uh, doing my drive. Look, there's a dyno, like if you rev it, see? That is just really cool. And let's go to drive modes. And then you can customize it however you want. So you just click this, then you can choose anything that you want. 
So if you want, let's say you want super uh, easy steering, but you want the suspension kind of stiff, you can do all that stuff. And right now we have it in 500 horsepower mode, but we'll definitely be uh, switching that to 717 and comparing the two because I'm curious to see how 500 horsepower mode is in comparison to my Mustang GT because that would be really interesting. But yeah, there's so much stuff in here you guys can go over and then track obviously puts everything in track. But uh, let's get a little exhaust clip real quick before we take this 717 horsepower Hellcat on the road. Wow, so you can see even with stock exhaust, it is still extremely loud. It revs really quick. You can even hear a little bit of supercharger whine when you rev it. So this is just insane. Wow. And it has an active valve too, so that when you're cruising on the highway, it's not super droney either. But let's get to the best part. Let's take this Hellcat for a spin because I'm dying to test it out. All right, guys, we're all set up here. Let's, for the first part of this drive, let's have everything in street mode, but we will put the power in 717 for now. So let's, uh, let's go here. All righty. So right off the bat, Hellcats are pretty big vehicles. So it definitely does feel like a big vehicle, but it doesn't feel like, you know, it's like cumbersome to drive or anything, but it does feel like a big vehicle. Like the dash is really big. Um, the hood, this one has the two hood snorkels, so that looks really big as well. Just a little something to see over, but it looks so cool that it's no big deal to be honest. And the transmission, I can't vouch for the ZF8 speed enough. It's so smooth when you want it to be, and it's so fast when you want it to be as well. And we're gonna be testing out paddle shifters. We're gonna be testing out 500 horsepower mode. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do launch control just cause I, I don't wanna spin my brother's tires. But um, yeah, we'll definitely be testing stuff out though. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, the trans is so good. Wow. All right guys, so we're gonna get onto an on-ramp here. I don't know how easy this car spins, so we're gonna put everything in sport here. So let's go here, let's go into sport mode. Then we're gonna go onto the freeway and uh, step on a little bit. Oh wow, suspension definitely got a little bit stiffer, for sure. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this on-ramp looks. Okay, I see. Oh shit. This thing is angry. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it definitely gets up and goes for sure. Wow. Whew. Let me get the AC back going again. Oh man. Okay, let's try uh let's try doing a little tiny acceleration in track mode here. Everything looks good. Let's get over this bump. All right, let's step on a little bit here. Oh my God, okay, this car got in front of us. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try this again. All right, here we go. transmission just bangs through those gears it literally like kicks you in the back when it shifts because it bangs the gear so hard yeah this thing is a force to be reckoned with okay let's uh let's put in custom here and let's put the custom power on 500 because so i want to see how 500 horsepower compares to like a mustang gt so let's get over here let's do a little short acceleration run okay Drop AC. Oh, okay. Wow. That's 
still feels really fast. I feel like it gave me all of the power. There's no way it's that. I mean, 500 horsepower is still a lot of power, but wow. And everything was on street too. Oh my gosh, this thing is insane. And the supercharger whine, man, you can hear it easily too. Just whining. <laughs> oh geez, okay, let's put it back in sport mode. And let's test out manual mode. Because I want to see how the paddles react. It's too bad that Seattle has so, or I should say Mexico has so much traffic because you can't like really get to experience the car because there's always people in the way. Ooh. Oh my God, the trans shifts so violently. <laughs> that's, the cra that's the crazy thing about this transmission. When you're driving it normally and you have everything in normal mode, it shifts extremely smooth. And then when you're like on throttle and you're in sport or track, it just bangs off the gears. Wow. Downshift here. Wow, it's so quick. Look at that. That is so fast. See, Ford needs to learn a few things from Dodge with this Hellcat. Definitely. Downshift to second and first. See, it's smooth. Wow. First, second. Look at that, nice and smooth. Let's get back onto the freeway here. Ooh, those dodge shifts. Let's do another one. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, guys, here we go. Let's try the paddles this time. Oh my God. It is so fast. Okay, we need to settle down now. Whew. Yeah, this will definitely, I mean, obviously it has 717 horsepower, but this will destroy a Mustang GT. Easy. A stock one. Jeez. This thing is literally insane. I can't, I mean, I know Hellcats have been around for a while, so a lot of people have seen them and stuff, but they still are just crazy. I wanna try 500 horsepower mode one more time. And I just wanna cruise on the street suspension right now to see how it soaks up the bumps. And to be honest, I mean, I, I know the camera kind of distorts it a little bit, but it really goes over these bumps really smooth. It's just so smooth. You can take this on a road trip and then you can just go flying down the highway. Okay, we got a little bit of space here, so let's try 500 horsepower mode one more time. Cause I wanna see how that feels versus a Mustang GT. Okay, here we go, 500 horsepower. So if you have a Hellcat and you wanna be nice to a Mustang GT, you put it in 500 horsepower mode. Okay, let's do a short one here. Wow, it's still super fast. Yeah, I, I can see why my brother wanted a Hellcat. It's just, you can do so much with this car. So if you guys haven't experienced a Hellcat, you guys need to check one out. Or if you guys are trying to buy a Hellcat, buy it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, buy it. Cause this thing is fast. All right guys, I just got back here and um, a few things I forgot to mention is the brakes are fantastic. They stop you on a dime. In the steering feel, you can change it between different modes, but the steering feel is perfect. Um, in the street setting, it's like super soft, and then I just say super easy to turn. And then in the track setting, it's a lot stiffer, so it depends on what you guys like. Another thing is that the visibility is actually uh, pretty good out the front. Um, the side's okay. The mirrors are a little bit small, and then you do kind of have a big, like, this portion over here. But um, the visibility is pretty good too, and then this one definitely helps because it has the blind spot monitoring. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe, let me know what you think of the Hellcat, and I'll see you in the next one.